So, this guy, uh, Mahmoudov, is just a brute. Just a brute. Let's talk. I'm teaching you controversy with Fight View 360. This guy right here, uh, Edge Kabiel, he's always been good. He's just never had, as they were saying, wrestling that push or picked up, picked up by a big time promoter. Um, I watched and covered his fight against uh, uh, Derek Chisora and watched plenty of fights in the past of his and research for the Derek Chisora fight. He was once in line to get the Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua fight at one point in time. 23 and no, actually now 24 and no, with uh, 16 KOs. He pretty much beat uh, uh, Mahmoudov's body like a drum. And the guy's just a brute. Big, scary, menacing looking dude. 18 and 0, 18 and 1 now with 17 KOs, 34 year old Russian. Just really no skill set. Now, he's been literally brutalizing fighters, but uh, it's just, he just don't got it. Uh, what round was this, by the way? I'm sorry. Uh, take your time out, like the video, subscribe. This card is moving. It's 1.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's about 10 p.m. over in, Aust uh, keep saying Australia, in Saudi Arabia right now. Uh, I hope that finally he gets the push that he deserves because dude's been around. Uh, Kabiel has been around for quite some time. And uh, he can box, like actually move and box. Now, am I going to say he can be, beat the top guys? Not yet. But he will damn sure put on a good fight. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see who he's going to fight next because this is going to get him exposure. Uh, what did I do? I just did something. Here we go. Let's, do that. Let's watch it. I want you to see the body shot. Like, them body shots ate uh, Mahmoudov up. He could not deal with them. I done messed up my uh, length right. Okay, let's do it this way. I'm sorry. My bad. There we go. But, yeah, those body shots tore his ass up. And you can tell he was hurt, like, really hurt after the first knockdown because he dropped his hands. And he just, you just saw he was trying to look for, like, one big shot. He didn't want to be in there no more. But, yeah, the guy's just a brute. But he is hurting. So... Let's go look at the rankings here. Let's see here. Kabiel, he's always been ranked 13 by the uh, WBC. He is not ranked by the WBA, surprisingly. He is not ranked by the IBF. Oh, there he is, number 12 by the IBF and number 13 by the WBO. So expect him to get a uh, top 10 ranking. And don't be surprised if we may see him versus a Felix Hergovitz on this card. Or the winner or loser of uh, Daniel Dubois versus uh, Gerald Big Baby Miller. And that fight is up next, I believe. I want to listen to the uh, post-fight interview um, from uh, Kabiel. But no, seriously, like, dude's good. Like, dude's good. He ain't no joke. Let's see if we can listen and take your time out. Like the video, subscribe. Let's turn it up. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. Two minutes, three seconds of round number four. Your winner by way of technical knockout, still undefeated, and new WBA Intercontinental and NABF Heavyweight Champion, Ajit Kabay. So he is going to be ranked by the WBA now. Because Ursuline uh, Mahmoudov was ranked number four by the WBA. Let's see what he has to say. Stood his ground during the introductions. That can sometimes psychologically be so important. And then backed it all up with the I wonder if they're going to interview I mean, of his career. A career by the way. I don't see Chris Mannix in the ring. I wonder if they're going to interview him. But yeah, dude's nice. You know, he's also in that next generation of heavyweights, as I talked about with uh, uh, guys like Frank Sanchez. Um, he's never going to see a Tyson Fury, you know. Uh, and at one point in time, Tyson Fury was going to fight him before Derek Chisora, the third fight. Or was it before he fought in Ganu? I forgot. But yeah, they were in talks. And he talked about it during the uh, 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 press conferences. All right, we are getting a post-fight interview. Let's listen in. Here's the man of the moment now with his verdict. All yours, Chris. Aja, congratulations. I think a lot of people this week looked at the size of Mahmoudov, looked at the size of you, and believed this was going to be maybe a showcase type of fight for him. Instead, you reminded people that you are right there on that world level. What did you think of your performance? First of all, thank you, Turkshan, for the great opportunity. 
Yes, I give my best and win the fight. We're training for this, you know. I shock the world, maybe, huh? When you talk with 10 guys, nine guys say Agit never win. Today, alhamdulillah, we win. What was your game plan coming into the fight? Because you knew he was bigger, maybe a little bit naturally stronger, but your quickness was certainly a factor. Yeah, my movement was a game plan, the body shots, and after come to the head, yeah, see, the, the labor king. <laughs> At what point could you tell that the body shots were hurting him? I don't know. I win the fight, I'm happy. And uh, the training camp is finished, the fight is finished. No, I have a rest. We we'll see you soon, inshallah. When you, when you look at the, let me ask about the fourth round, the final round of this fight, did you feel like you were hurting him every time with those shots in the body? Yes, yes, I see him on, on the face. Um, he's not here, you know? I see him and I finish the fight. You have been mentioned many times as a potential opponent for the likes of Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury. You remain undefeated. What do you want to do next? I don't know. When you give me the great next opportunity, I'm ready. I come for everything. We are ready. We shut every day. Congratulations. Alhamdulillah. Thank you. Mike? Yes, I said, very good uh, 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 heavyweight. And as you can see, if you watch the fight, he can move, he can box, and, you know, he does have a high boxing IQ. So I'm glad that he's got this, what people consider an upset. If I did a preview video on this uh, uh, fight, I would have probably said, like, hey, don't count him out. Like, dude is pretty good. Um, but it's going to be interesting to see where he goes next. But you do can box. Take your time out. Like the video, subscribe, and teach you controversy with 5v360.